What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Snow TV. Uh, back at it with another video. I had some requests uh, on Twitter to do a kind of a story time about uh, the time I was arrested by a FBI agent for stealing his badge and gun. Um, yeah, I keep it pretty retarded on this channel. Uh, pretty stupid as, as a young, young man. Um, <laughs> So before we get into this, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below, and turn on notifications so you know exactly when I post my next video. Uh, so let's get into this. So, um, first off, let me give you like a little bit of a backstory about why I was in the position I was and why I did what I did. Well, I don't really have anything to justify why I did it, but it, just stick with me. Um, so I was like 16. Uh, I'm originally from Michigan, um, in the Genesee County area. Uh, I'm currently here, again, back here. Uh, but I moved to Florida, uh, to live with my mom. And due to me being not so great in school, um, pretty much I was a dumbass. Like, yeah, uh, my GPA is like a 0.04. I don't even fucking know how that's possible. Like, honestly, I heard it's a very exclusive list, and it takes a true retard to make it, and yours truly got onto it. So, but anyways, that's where we were kind of at uh, academically. And I got suspended, like, oh my god, I can't even tell you how many times. My file was like that fucking thing. Like, I would come back to school off a seven day suspension and get kicked out that same fucking day. Just sort of stupid shit. Just the dumbest shit in the world. But, anyways. Uh, I finally pushed the limits a little too far when uh, I brought an illegal substance uh, to school. Uh, it wasn't alcohol. It wasn't hardcore drugs. It, it was marijuana. Yeah, it was marijuana. If you're from Kersley High School, you probably recognize me. Uh, <laughs> the one day I decided to bring it to school, they were like, oh, we're going to bring the drug dogs in and randomly do searches. And boom, he hit on my locker. Go fucking figure right? The one day I bring it to school. Anyways, besides the point. I got expelled from school, right? So my dad's like, you know what? Go live with your mom. Go live in Florida. Try to start over. Try to make a better life for yourself because obviously it's not working for you up here. Um, I was running with a bad crowd and I just I was doing stupid shit and getting into dumb shit. So I moved to Florida. Long story short, I moved to Florida. It's kind of the backstory. Um, <clears throat> I was there for like two or three months and uh, my neighbor that I was living by owned his own painting business. I, I won't lie, I was in a decently wealthy area. Um, we had a nice five bedroom house, two and a half baths. Um, it was very nice, it was right on a lake. Um, obviously man-made lake. If you live in Florida, you know there's no fucking lakes. It's just oceans and swamps. <laughs> but uh, man-made lake anyways. And uh, I, st I started working for my neighbor. Uh, as a painter, so I'm actually really good at painting, like painting houses, like, you know, ceilings, walls, stuff like that, doing little handyman fix it jobs, just for some extra side cash uh, to help fund my video games and uh, get my setup going and built up. Well, during the time of doing that, um, he hired another guy that had just came from Texas. Uh, apparently he had, like, nothing, no, no house, no nothing to live in. He was actually staying with, at that time, my boss, um, and yeah, he kind of wasn't a good guy. Um, needless to say, if you're old enough, you probably remember this, the whole K2 or the spice craze. Um, I started using that. I'm not proud of it. I am not proud of it at all, and I know a lot of people are going to hit the comments right below and just fucking straight bash me for it and that's okay because I bash myself for it I regret ever using that shit um I would say I was addicted like straight up addicted I'm no longer addicted I'm not addicted to anything nothing well cigarettes but I'm not addicted to anything anymore nothing nothing like that uh but one night actually it's not even one night I know the exact date it was December 30th so we went out uh, we checked mailboxes to find, like, people sending Christmas cards and shit. I'm gonna sound really shitty for doing this, but I was fucking stupid. I was young and dumb. Uh, he kind of persuaded me into, let's go out and look into mailboxes and go through Christmas cards and see if there's any cash in them. Uh, just take the cash and, you know, go buy whatever we needed at the time. Um, 
so yeah, keep in mind, 16 years old. Uh, I'm now out committing one fucking felony, tampering with mail. There's felony number fucking one, and that was just to kick the night off. It lasted till like 6 a.m. We started at like 8 p.m. at night, and it went to like 6 fucking a.m., 7 a.m. Um, we got some, we got lucky. I'm not gonna lie, we did find money. Uh, we took, god, I feel like such a piece of shit for doing that. Oh my god. I'm such a piece of shit for doing that. Like, honestly, like, I still think about it all the fucking time. Like, what if poor Timmy was supposed to get that $20 to get a new controller to play fucking Xbox, and now he can't? Well, I'm sure he's got a controller now. But then, he couldn't. And he's like, Grandma, where's my $20? I needed my controller. We're getting off topic. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, so... We went to the store, got some necessities, some alcoholic beverages. Um... I say some, we got three cases of like the 24 packs of Corona, because in Florida, if you're any color, <laughs> you drink Corona. Like, that's like fucking it. Or Bud Light Platinum. I love Bud Light Platinum. Uh, we got some in the fridge. Anyways. Uh, so yeah. We went, got some things, and then it turned into, okay, let's park the car and go walk around and try to get some more mailboxes. Um, try to get some more money, see what we can do. Let's actually try to go into a house and uh, look for electronics. It was Christmas time, so we figured, you know what? A lot of people probably aren't home. Um, now that I'm an adult, I realize that people fucking go to Florida during Christmas time to get away from the snow up here in the north. So, people are going to be fucking home. I was such an idiot, dude. I was 16. I was such a fucking idiot. Anyways. Anyways, if I start ranching again. Uh, so we got lucky, mailboxes, uh, but then we started to get dry after like two or three streets chucking every single fucking mailbox. Uh, we didn't get that much. We got like maybe 40 bucks and we felt like that wasn't enough. So let's push our look further, right? Uh, there was a couple like semi mansions. There were like 10 bedroom houses that were around me. Um, we actually in one of them snuck over the security fence. An actual security guard worked on their property. We snuck over the fucking wall, over their vents, got into their garage. He decided he's gonna go into the fucking house, sets the alarm off, I fucking book it, he fucking books it, and we get out of there. Somehow, some fucking miracle, we get out of there alive, and we don't get caught. There's felony number two, breaking and fucking entering. We're now tampering with mail, breaking and entering, underage drinking. Well, for me, it was like, I don't know, like 24 or something, I don't know. Um, but anyways, yeah. Finally, we get to this house. Uh, nobody's home, so we go in the garage and we steal some power tools, uh, some like leaf branch cutter tools, um, a guitar, uh, just like a regular acoustic, not electric, but uh, some fucking Pokemon cards. Like, just real stupid petty shit. But, yeah. Then we come up to this one house. It appears as though nobody's home. Um, that's what I thought. But somebody must have been fucking home. Uh, we didn't get caught right then and there. It happened the next day. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Just hang on in there hang in there uh but we went into the garage seen uh two cars parked we decided not to try to go into a house for afraid of setting off another alarm um so we go in there i'm standing there next to this car it's unlocked obviously it's in his garage he's not gonna you know worry about that but he actually didn't lock his garage door which was i don't know if he forgot to that night or something maybe or if it was a setup from the start but he didn't lock his fucking door. So we went in there, got in the car, got in the glove box. We were looking for iPads, uh, chargers, anything. Like, literally anything. We would have fucking stolen ink pens at that point. Um, and we come across a gun in the glove box. Unlocked. Now, most people's first instincts would be... Why am I even in this position, and why the fuck am I even contemplating about taking this? 
that's most people's thought process on that issue not ours we were like you know what let's fucking take it because we can i don't know what we were gonna do with it you can't exactly pawn it let alone finding out who it belonged to we keep looking in the car we find 20 bucks in cash in his glove box with the gun we look in the center console you know where you like set your arm when you're driving you know the center console we lift it up there's a fucking badge in there it's not for a city cop it's not for a state cop. It's not for anything higher than a state cop. It's a fucking FBI badge. Straight fucking FBI badge, yo. And what do we do? You're gonna be disappointed if you think that I just left it. Because I didn't. I obviously fucking took it. So we take it, we get out of the house, we go back to our neck of the woods kind of regrouping in our heads like what we just did um so yeah that's kind of where we're at in the story now here's the part where i get arrested and thrown out of bed naked in my mother's house at eight in the fucking morning keep in mind i got home at like 6 30 in the morning um so we get back there uh i go to sleep like instantly i pass out right so I'm asleep. I'm like passed the fuck out, like hardcore passed out. I'm like drunk, tired, <laughs> blown, right? I'm just passed out, like hard. All of a sudden I hear pounding on my bedroom door and I'm like, probably my little sister fucking around, trying to wake me up, whatever, fuck it. Turned over. Next thing you know, they kick the fucking door in. Literally. Kick the fucking door in. Blows my fucking door everywhere. Just wood chunks all over. It actually hit my Xbox, and I'm kind of still upset about that, but it wasn't broken. Anyways. So, wood chunks all over the fucking place. I pop the fuck up. They have fucking guns pointed at me. I'm not talking like, oh, you know, little hand gun, oh, pew. Guns pointed at your boy, ready to fire. And I instantly went, whoosh, hands up, like, oh my god. I, I instantly knew what was going on. Like, just not even a moment of hesitation. I was like, yep, I know. I know. I know what's going on. I'm retarded, but I'm not that retarded to try to fight this situation. <laughs> just fucking do what you gotta do, boys. So they handcuffed me. My mother's like freaking out. She's like, What the fuck did you do? What the fuck did you <laughs> What the fuck did you do? I'm like, yo, relax. I'm gonna go down here and figure this out. I might not see you for a long time. <laughs> We've committed like three or four felonies in like a five hour, eight, nine hour period. Um not too proud of that. This is definitely the dumbest thing I've ever done, and I've never done anything stupid after that. Uh, but anyways, so they take me down there. Uh, they take me to the local police station. There's the state cop. I think he's a state cop. He had a different uniform on than the rest. Uh, there was a county cop, and there was... I'm assuming he was FBI or higher because he had a whole suit on and everything. He didn't really tell me who he was or what he really did but I know whose badge we fucking stole so I'm sure he was like up there you know what I mean in the criminal system or the criminal justice system um so I'm freaking out they got me in the interrogation room and this is such a stereotype people always think the interrogation rooms are like what they see in movies it is not it is absolutely not it is literally a fucking table and chairs like, that's it. And it's usually cold as fuck. I don't know why. I don't know if that's some kind of, like, technique to make you crack. But I was freezing, bro. Like, okay, when they woke me up, I was completely naked. My balls were swinging and everything. Um, <laughs> I had put shorts on. It was, it's fucking Florida. And it's hot as shit. Uh, I put shorts on and a t-shirt. They at least let me do that. So, if you guys are happy to watch this, thank you. I appreciate that. They could have just straight dragged your boy butt-ass naked through the street and fucking took me. But they didn't. Uh, but anyways, 
So I'm sitting in there, cold as fuck, shivering, and they come in and they're just like, look, we know what happened, we know what you did, but we don't know who else was with you and where he's at. And I was like, yo, I'm telling you what, I was drunk as a skunk, and my shit was just instant fucking vibe killed. It was over. I was up here, and I am now like, boop, boop, like down there, like negative vibing right now. And they're like, you know, this is how we found out. And I'm going to tell you guys, apparently the dipshit that I went and stole shit with decided to, instead of keep it in his fucking car in the trunk, he decides he's going to put it outside. Like, why? So, instead of taking the shit we stole, putting it in his trunk, so it's not out in fucking public view, he walks to the side of the garage of my, at that time, boss's house that he was staying at, and puts it next to the fucking garage. I, st I, I still can't understand why. Like, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a retard. But that's like, he's on a whole nother level. Like, I'm here, and he's fucking here when it came to that. Because that was just fucking ignorant. And apparently, the boss's wife found those items and called the police and said, yo, there's a guy staying here. We don't really know him too well, but he's working for my husband. There's a bunch of random items outside my house. I think that might be stolen. Next thing you know, the fucking cops and SWAT, FBI, I'm assuming is what they were, were at my house, kicking my door and dragging me down and taking me to an interrogation room. Uh, no, like, harmful tactics or anything like that. Like, they were actually genuinely being nice because I was being very, very cooperative. That's the key in any situation with law enforcement. Be super cooperative. Like, they, they're trained to know when you're not being truthful and cooperative. And I think because I was being both, they were like, alright, this kid's like 16. He was hanging out with somebody way older. Probably influenced him into doing some very stupid shit. It happens all the time. And that's pretty much what happened. So I'm sitting there, and they're like, yeah, you know, we know you guys went and stole some stuff from some houses. There's a couple houses reporting things missing and that they had a break-in. Clearly that was us. Um, they never said anything about the mailboxes, so I don't... I mean, people wouldn't know that no mail was sent for a while. You know what I mean? So, Or else I'm sure they would have got me on that charge. I actually got away with that. Um, next thing you know, they're like, honestly, we don't fucking care about those household items. We want to know where this gun is at and where is my partner's badge. And then instantly I was like, he's FBI. He's fucking FBI. Like, he's got to be FBI. He said my partner's badge. And I remember it because the way he said it was so, like, stern and, like, I, I can't even... I can't even mimic it. Like, it was just so, like, I felt it in my chest. It was weird. But anyways, um... So yeah, he's talking to me, he's like, I know you got it, I know you got it, where's it at? And I'm like, dude, I honestly truly do not have it. All I honestly took was money out of mailboxes. Um, and he's like, well, where's the guy, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to skip kind of the boring talking stuff, but needless to say, uh, I, I gave him up. I don't know if he was ever caught. I actually didn't even know his first and last name. I just always called him Bro, because I, I never learned his fucking name. Um, so yeah, he, uh, I don't know if he got caught. Last I heard, he was making his way back to Texas, but that could be unconfirmed. Um, honestly, I am so thankful for two things. Uh, one, they fucking let me go. I created, or I created, I did three or four felonies in one fucking night, and they let me go. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I'll tell you what, straight up, you can hate me all you want. I told on his ass, I was like, yo, I am not about to ruin my life for some fucking loser just to get caught anyways. And then I go down with it. That's fucking stupid. Like, people are always like, oh, no snitching. Fuck you. Honestly, like, if it's on that fucking level, I'm not talking no petty shit like, ooh, who threw that paper? Oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> you know, like, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking some next level. We're talking fucking felony federal penitentiary. Long time. They let me go. 
I still cannot fucking believe that. I can't fucking believe that I'm here. Um, the second thing I'm thankful for, for why that happened, is it, it actually scared me straight. Like, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it scared me straight into, you know, I went back to school. Uh, I started attending school again. Um, you know, I really tried to get my act together. I found a, a better job. Uh, with an actual company, um, you know, and eventually I left Florida. I don't even know if I was supposed to. I don't know if they were like watching me. They could be fucking watching me still for all I fucking know. I have no idea. But I moved back up to Michigan from Florida. Um, yeah, and I'm here now. We got a beautiful setup. We got a great house. Uh, I go to work every day. I work my ass off every single fucking day um <laughs> here's the irony right so think about what i did okay so i broke into someone's house multiple people's houses i stole mail i stole an fbi badge i stole an fbi gun and b and e breaking and entering in a fucking federal agent's house now let me tell you what i do now for a living I work for my local sheriff's department. <laughs> Yo, like, you don't get scared any straighter than that. Like, I, I'm going to block out my name because I don't really want my name out. But, like, do you see the resemblance? Do you see the resemblance? Anyway, that's what I call a scared straight. I was on one side of the law, and now I'm on the other. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have tons of more stupid fucking stories that I could share with you guys. If you want to know more, drop down below in the comment section and let me know. Please let me know, and I will be more than happy to fulfill your needs of hearing me blab on about stupid shit I've done in my life. And, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate that. Like squad. Hit that subscribe button. Flick that notification bell on so you know when I upload. Uh, trying to upload a lot more um but you know life happens we do stream every night though description down below check out my twitch channel follow me on twitter as well and i appreciate you guys for watching i'll see you later